was nothing. It was just a dream. <coughs> what was just a dream? Andrew. Dr. Sigmund Carpenter at your service. Tell me all about your dream. Uh, look, it's okay. Uh, I'll just wait down the hall. Oh, but David, no, no. only be in the way. Hi, Tina. Hi. Well, I hope you feel as good as you look. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know about that, but I certainly feel an awful lot better than I did yesterday. Come on, sit down, stay with me. Thanks. I keep thinking what might have happened if David hadn't gotten you here in time. Yeah, so do I. Believe me, he's the first person I thanked. Vicki, David doesn't need your gratitude. Stop holding back. Tell him you accept him as your brother, once and for all. Big brother, I'll bet she's the most precious thing you've got. Oh, no, 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 Looks like this is my lucky day. <laughs> Al? Stay out of home, where are you? Gone, that's where he is. That's where everybody... Hey, Max, you interested in a private game tonight? High stakes, just the way you like it. Just give me a call if you want to join in. Dear Mother, I hope someday you will be able to understand why I did this. I was just so desperate, and there's no other way for me. Not anymore. One life to live. Vicki, why don't you just say it? If David has no hidden agenda. And he would be the type of man we would choose to have as a brother, if we had a choice. We don't get to choose things like that, Tina. Well, you chose to have me as your sister in accepting me, didn't you? And I wasn't half as good as David is. Tina, let me try and... Uh... 
explain to you what's been going through my head, okay? I've been lying here all day wondering if I'm being unfair to David. Because in one respect, you're completely right. He has been nothing but kind and giving to me, to you, to everyone in the family. And he certainly hasn't asked for anything. Only one thing. And why can't you give him that? Yeah, well, I've been thinking about that, too. And I think it has all to do with father. You know, Tina, my whole life, I have tried to protect father. At least, that's what I've told myself. I've done everything I could to protect his name and his memory. And now I'm starting to realize if the person that I'm protecting isn't really me. I don't know what you mean. Well, see, if I accept David as my brother, it means opening up another door to another dark room. I still don't follow. <clears throat> no, of course you don't. See, there's this image I've always had of a father's secret life. It's like a big Gothic mansion with thousands of rooms. And I think I've explored them all, and then all of a sudden, there's another one that I haven't seen. And so I go in, and then more secrets come pouring out. I guess I just have resented David for putting me through this all over again. I, I, it, it's almost as if I've been blaming him for Father's dark, secret side, you know. I mean, certainly Father's sins were all his own. They're not David's. No. You're right. They're not, so why don't you tell David that? Honey, I'm really quite tired. Can we let it go for now, please? Yeah, but the sooner you open up your heart and Tina, tell please, him... please, Tina, you cannot force me to trust David. Time for your medication, Mrs. Buchanan. It won't happen until I'm ready, okay? <clears throat> Okay, well, you rest, and if, if you change your mind, I'm right down the hallway, okay? David, it's happening. It's really happening. Wait, what? Vicky's okay, isn't she? Oh, yeah, she's, she's better than okay. She's this close to accepting you as her brother. All she needs is a little... Push. Must have something I ate at the party. I took a nap. I had this silly dream. No, 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 Fräulein. Now, dreams are really silly. Now, did you by any chance dream of a gigantic green pickle that was coming down a spiral staircase? Come on, tell me. <sighs> How did you know? Dream. What is so funny? Your husband and his German accent. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just trying to interpret a bad dream. I'm telling you, it wasn't a bad... <laughs> Speaking of dreaming, how's the baby? Oh, he's out like a light, but I thought you were too, hmm? Maybe it isn't just a bad dream. Andrew, <clears throat> that guest room is too hot. We need to put a new air conditioner in there for Marty. No, no, you don't. You won't. Uh, the room is fine. You've already done way too much as it is. Besides, I won't be staying much longer. What are you talking about? We want you to stay. Why don't you stay here as I've already as got need some needs on apartments. I don't want to inconvenience you, you any more than I have. Stop it. This is not an inconvenience. Cassie, please, talk some sense into this Marty, lady. Marty, we wouldn't be able to sleep knowing that you're out there all alone, especially with Todd just being released from prison. And besides, it's because of my mother that you don't have a home of your own. No, I am not blaming that on you. Yes, but she took it right out from under Absolutely. you. Absolutely, and the least that we can do is give you some kind of a sense of home, a place where you belong and where you are always you know, welcome. it's really sweet of you, but you have your own family to worry about, and I don't want to be in the way. <laughs> Sweetheart? How many times have we told you that you are part of our family? Haven't you figured that out yet? Okay, that's it. I gotta, I gotta keep busy, busy, busy. Busy, that's the key, yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can do 
this. Just need a pencil. Came as soon as I could, Max. What's wrong? How much time you got? Hey, look, Court. If I if I were you, I, I would just get back in my car and head back home. Anyone who gets mixed up in my you mess. Called. Just... You said you needed me. I'm here. What is it? It's the way I treated you. I, Max, you apologize for that. All right. And I know that you weren't yourself when all that went oh, down. No, see, that's just it. That 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 was me. That was Max Holden, who did all those things to you and Luna and Al and all my friends and myself. God, I lied to myself. We all do that from time to time, Max. <sighs> Look, now that you know that, that's, that's great. You realize that, so that puts you ahead of the game now. Game, game, yeah. Well, there's always another game. That is, that is the one thing I have learned. Always a sure thing, a best bet, a can't-miss winner. You know, a guy invited me to a high-stakes poker game tonight. I'm the best, he tells me, and I'm ready to believe him. I am ready. I'm ready to give up all my promises for the sake of a stupid card game. I'm pathetic, that's what I am. Luna leaves me here to fix myself, to deal with my problem, and I, I, I can't do it. I'm, I'm weak, I, I'm lost. But I, I don't know what to do. Man, you've got to stop being so hard on yourself. You can't help it if somebody gives you a card or if somebody invites you to join in some kind of poker game. That's the thing. I wanted to call him. I, I was shaking. I wanted in that game so bad. Yeah, what well, you called me instead, Max. Now, that took guts. And unfortunately, it shows that you... that you got something in common with some of these people you saw at the Gambler's Outreach, Max. I thought I could do this alone. I thought I could turn my life around. Look, I don't think anyone is that strong. It's made me wonder if my whole life is a lie. I thought I was that strong. I'm, that I wasn't a loser. And now, I look at Luna and see what I've done to her. Max, listen, you are one of the good guys, all right? I know that. Luna knows that, too. That's why she married you, man. We just got to get you believing that again, and I'm telling you, you will. But I think the way to do it is to call the outreach. Call the gamblers. Man, what, what have you got to lose? <sighs> Nothing. I just, uh... I, I, gotta, I gotta get her back. I, nothing means anything without me. Wait, wait, wait. Luna's down in Carolina. She's healing herself, okay? You gotta do the same. And once you do, she'll come back. She'll, she'll talk to you. Yeah, but I need her now. I need her right what now. What you need right now is to fix yourself, okay? And the best way to do that is just to turn your back on everything and everyone that had anything to do with that whole gambling lifestyle, especially Blair. Now, she's the one you really got to watch out for. Believe me, Court, I know that. I know just how dangerous Blair can be. I'm not angry at anyone. My mistakes have been all my own. The good things I've done, if any, you know all about them. So does Max. You both know there isn't anything I wouldn't do for love. But now, how can I go on when the people I love are gone? You can't even recognize me anymore, and Max has turned his back on me forever. I'm alone. There's only one thing left for me to do. I love you, Mother. Please forgive me. Blair. This works.
telling you, Sheila did whatever it took to keep me in line. And I do mean whatever. She didn't have to use force. Oh, you want to bet? Look, I'll bet okay. she found a way to make you want to quit gangs and do something with your life. You think you know me so well, don't you? Not as much as I'd like to. Excuse me? You know, the music is a little bit loud. I almost thought I heard you I say did. it. I did. Since we seem to have so much in common. Oh, yes. A couple of overachievers. That's us. Well, it just makes me wonder. I mean, what else could we possibly share? I would love to find out. I'm sorry. I can't hear the music. It's so loud. I said... <laughs> we need to finish this conversation in some place quiet. How about the public library? No. I was thinking more like my place. Unless you'd rather go to the public library. No. Your, your place sounds fine. Wait. Hold that oh. thought and don't dare drop it. Where are you going? I gotta go check my service. I will be back in a flash. Really getting into it, huh? Brings back some old memories. You like it? Oh, I love this, especially the song. Thank you very much. My name is Jimmy G. I produced this record. Really? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Are you working on their next album? Well, actually, I, I'm starting my own group soon. Great. So do you guys have a name? You'll think I'm stuck up. <laughs> I promise I won't. <laughs> Jimmy G, etc. Yeah. You're right. You are stuck up. <laughs> I'm kidding. I really like it. Yeah, well, maybe you and your boyfriend can hear us. We've already got a booking in October. A great little club in Philly. I'll look for the ad. But better yet, just give me your name and address, and I'll send you a couple of tickets. Okay, um, Rachel Gannon. Hmm. Uh, you know, you can send it to the office I'm working at. It's I don't blame you. A pretty lady shouldn't go around handing out her address to just anybody. Sorry. No, no, no problem. You can't be too careful nowadays. Excuse me. Ben, Ben, I just met this terrific guy, and guess what? He is going to give us tickets to his band's next concert. Oh, and uh, who's this? It's Jimmy, Jimmy G. He was just here, I swear, a second ago. Well, it is just as well, because I do not want to share you with anybody tonight. So, you are ready? Ready. This summer on ABC Daytime. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. It'll leave you breathless. It's definitely hot and spicy. Breathless. This summer. Hot stars. Hot secrets. Hot stories. Only on ABC Daytime. River wanted to make it unanimous. Marty is part of our family. Isn't that right, sweetheart? Absolutely, he <laughs> says. Ma, I gotta have some lunch, right? Huh? <laughs> I hate to say this, but one of us uh, guys needs a fresh diaper. Oh, Andrew. I'm so embarrassed for you. Uh, 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 you mind taking them? I think it's your turn. Oh, gladly, gladly. Mwah! We'll put you into that new French outfit your Aunt Marty bought you, huh? Ooh, la, 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 la. Do you want to talk about this now? I told you there's nothing to talk about. Marty, I know when something is bothering you. And I think I know what it is. Todd, right? What else could it be? Marty, you wouldn't be human if you weren't upset now that he's out of prison. He's on my mind, but it's not. Look, whatever's bothering me, I can handle it, OK? Of course you can, but you don't have to deal with things on your own. Come on, Marty, I may have babies on the brain, but I still have time to counsel my parishioners, and I certainly, I certainly have time for one of my best friends. You know, I've got to go. I just remembered I have to go do something. Okay. Marty. Goodbye, Andrew.
These are the nicest flowers in the shop. Vicky's gonna love these. Tina, I don't think Vicky wants flowers from me. She doesn't even want to see me. Yep. I think I make her uncomfortable, you know? Trust me, David. All she needs is a gentle little push in the right direction. One day at a time, Tina. All right, I'll give her the flowers. But Vicky, she'll come around when she's ready. I can't manipulate her into caring about me. It's just, you know, it's just not me. I know that. It's one of the things that makes you so wonderful. Let's go. David. I won't be long. I just I wanted to bring you something. Uh, thank you. They're beautiful, but you shouldn't have done that. Well, there's something else. That's the key to the carriage house. Why would you give me that? I've overstayed my welcome, Vicky. I'm leaving Landfair. In fact, I'm going to be leaving town for good. I'm telling you, Cordwell Blair's concerned. I'm immune. Yeah, well, the thing is... I Max, know you've heard the song played before, yeah, but this time I am sure. When, when Blair found out that Luna was going back to North Carolina, she headed straight for me, thinking I would take her back like I did before. Man, that woman sure knows when to pounce, doesn't she? Yeah, well, hey, she pulled out all the stops. You know how she is when she wants something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. But the thing is, I didn't want to hurt her, but she forced me. I just told her she was poisoned. Take off. Well, that was a good move, Max, but as far as hurting her is concerned, don't worry about that. Because you know damn well that you wouldn't hesitate to use you or Luna or anybody else you ever cared about as long as Blair Daimler gets what she wants. Hey, like I told you, I'm immune. No matter what button she pushes, I'm disconnected. Moment of truth, Max. Oh, I'm about to find out if I know you as well as I think that I do. If I lose this gamble, I lose everything. Everything. Here it is. Gambler's outrage. You know, someone said a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Court Roberts, wasn't it? Hello? Max, don't hang up. I have to tell you something. Blair, why are you doing this to yourself, huh? Hang up the phone. I told you we have nothing to talk about. Please, Max, let me just say this and then I'll be gone. Forever. I'm sitting here in my room in Mrs. Spritz's boarding house and I've decided to give you what you want. You told me to go away, so that's what I'm going to do. Goodbye, Max. Always remember how much I loved you. What, what, what do you mean you're going away forever? Where are you going, Blair? Blair? One Life to Live will continue in a moment here on ABC. ABC.